While war is waging in Europe and tensions seem to be rising in Asia, House Republicans, seemingly controlled in part by the Freedom Caucus, are playing politics with Pentagon funding. And one Republican senator is holding up crucial military promotions. Things seem to be going great over there. But here's a really important question that many of them seem to be making time to explore. Is Barbie communist? Senator Ted Cruz accusing the new Barbie new movie of pushing CCP propaganda and groveling to the communist regime. His criticism coming after Vietnam banned the movie over scenes with a map showing China's claims to the territory in the South China Sea, the so-called Nine Dash Line. So, Joe, is Barbie a communist? Maybe. Is Barbie communist? Maybe. Yes, you heard that right. Apparently, according to Republican Senator Ted Cruz, Barbie's alleged communism, based on a map in a movie, is more offensive than the actions of his colleague Tommy Tuberville, who, just to remind you, is on a one-man mission in the Senate to obstruct staffing our military at the highest levels. Right now, back here in the real world, there is no confirmed leader of the U.S. Marine Corps. And guess which division of the military plays a key role in overseeing troops in the South China Sea on the real map? The Marine Corps. No military leader out there is going to tell you they are more worried about a cartoon map in a movie about a doll than about having qualified members of the military in a position to lead their troops. Likewise, no commander will tell you that the biggest problem facing the military is that it's, quote, too woke, despite what House Speaker Kevin McCarthy claims. Just focus on the military. Stop using taxpayer money to do their own wokeism. A military cannot defend themselves if you train them in woke. We don't want Disneyland to train our military. We want our men and women in the military to have every defense possible. And that's what our bill does. To train them in woke. Who knows what that actually even means? McCarthy made those comments after House Republicans passed their version of the defense authorization bill, with amendments on abortion, gender transition care, and DEI. It bears repeating on this show, nobody really knows what exactly woke means. And certainly not what our military leaders are worried about. What they are definitely concerned about is the ability of a single senator to block the promotions of more than 270 officers and for pay to be blocked to pay increases to be blocked to military across the country. If Tuberville continues his hold, as many as 650 leadership positions could be vacant by the end of this year, according to the Pentagon. His issue is that he doesn't like the Pentagon's policy of providing time off and reimbursing travel expenses for those seeking reproductive health care. It's not just about abortions. It's also fertility treatments for people trying to conceive a child. Now, it's important to remember that service members and their families don't control where they are posted. They are sent where their skills are most required. That's how it works. That means they could easily find themselves in a state that has restricted access to health care, even when they need it. Pentagon doctors aren't even authorized to perform abortions, except in cases of rape, incest, and if a mother's life is in danger, which, by the way, is law. So for any woman seeking an abortion that does not fall into one of those three categories, she needs to seek health care outside of the Department of Defense. And that means seeking it outside of the state where she is stationed. Another right-wing conspiracy theory is that the U.S. military is a left-wing organization indoctrinating troops with hundreds of hours of DEI training. The actual truth, the right-wing punching bag, diversity and inclusion training, is just one hour, one hour of initial military training for infantry soldiers. And it's during the same period of training time that they spend 160 hours on rifle marksmanship. And it gets better. Because guess, just guess, when the mandatory lunch break length of DEI training was passed into law under President, former President Donald Trump. So just to sum this all up, Republicans, led by Senators Tommy T Tuberville and Ted Cruz, seem to be more concerned about a map in a movie, a fake map in a movie about Barbie, an hour of DEI training and blocking women's access to health care than ensuring our military has confirmed leadership in place during an incredibly tenuous moment around the world. Republicans like Tommy Tuberville love to claim politics and wokeness is affecting the readiness of our military. But right now, the only person politicizing the military seems to be him.